Uh, Jack's in Woking. Jack, what have we got? <clears throat> Hi, James. Hello, Jack. Um, you were just asking in a few years what's going to be different once we leave the EU or what would look better. And I believe that our goods and commodities that we buy are going to be more negotiable with the outside European country, countries outside the European Union rather than inside because we're held to buy certain goods from the European Union at the moment rather than going elsewhere. Well, also the, the countries with whom we have trade agreements via the European Union, about, about 750 yeah. separate treaties, I think. Yeah, I, I, I got you that. So what, what sort of countries are you thinking of? Just, I'm, I'm not going specifically to certain countries, but... Well, I, with, I mean, with, with respect, mate, you have to. Because I'm, I'm asking, right. you have to point at the thing that makes me go, oh, well, no, yeah. Some of, the, some of our African countries, we, we can get cheaper fruits and vegetables than we do from the European no, Union. No, we can't, the because the, the 50 poorest countries in the world have something called an anything but arms agreement in place, which means we don't put any tariffs at all on their exports of things like cocoa and coffee. And that's the 50 cheapest, I beg your pardon, the 50 poorest countries on the planet. So that one's off the table. Next. Well, uh, well you're just kicking me out of the... Uh, out the field, don't you? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Saying, I'm, I, I'm not. Reality is, the, the cost of fruits and vegetables are less there. If we were to purchase, there's, but there's no tariffs. There's no the tariffs EU. on. There's no tariffs on any of them. So the, we're the, allowed to just purchase our fruits and vegetables there. Then are we? They're not. They're not have to come through Europe first, do they? No, of course we can. Any, anything but arms is the phrase that you need, and that means that they, the European Union doesn't put tariffs on anything that's imported from the 50 poorest countries in the world, Jack. Well, one of your one of your one of your other presenters the other day was saying how we have to get fruits and vegetables and from the European and Union. And here's what you have to do, Jack. You have to ring him up and give him or her the evidence that I've now given to you for free. I did try to do that. And it, well, you what, tried to okay. phone up someone on LBC and argue the opposite of what you're arguing with me. Time. Yeah, you're right. I know. Yeah, I know. But also at the same time as well, I mean, I work in health and things like that. And another thing that gets me down as well is that. The translators that we pay, uh, we pay for them, right. and um, we pay them more than we pay our nurses. You see, yes. and I just feel like in a few years, well, you could always learn another language. Side of the film. Pardon? You could always learn another language. Yeah, or you, or yeah, you could. Yeah, that's what I mean. That would be much better, wouldn't it? Or we wouldn't be forking out of the, on the NHS for the translators that we're paying the nurses that were... So when we leave the European Union, we, when we leave the European Union, we're going to sack all the NHS translators, are we? No, they're not NHS translators, though, are they? They're self-employed. Well, I, I, I don't know, but we're going to sack them all, are we? Well, no, we're just going to we're just going to have the European citizens and citizens to just pay for them, like they should do. Right. That's it. Okay. I, I, I don't really get it. Well, why do we have to pay for them if they can't talk our our language and can't get through it. So we're we we're talking about French people, are we, and, and Spanish people and, and Romanians? Because what about all the non-EU yeah. countries that, that we'll just carry on paying well, for those pay. translators, will they we? They have to pay a bill. Or right. they have health insurance. No, that's, so not, that's, not, that's not, not if they're living and working here. But then they're paying their taxes, aren't they? So, they're so are the European country. Union workers. Well, they won't be once we're out the European Union, will they? Or they will have a visa. When we leave the European Union, European Union people won't have to pay taxes anymore. No, they will be paying taxes, but they'll have some sort of visa. I just, just visa. Hang on, I just need to clarify that, because Ivan's about to put in a bid on a, on a new car. Are you sure that, that they won't have to pay taxes anymore? No, they will have to pay taxes. But you just said they wouldn't. they right on the NHS, won't they? But they pay taxes the now. When but, people aren't. But they pay taxes now, Jack, and they have the same rights within the NHS that you're saying they're going to have after we leave? But we're, well, we're just paying for all the... Euro all I'm saying is we're paying for European Union people. But they pay the tax as well. That we pay get more money. They pay, tax as, they pay tax as well. And the massive majority of European Union citizens working in this country won't need a translator, Jack, will they? No, but then, they, but then we won't be so, paying for that. That's exactly what we're saying. Like you just came back to a minute ago saying... Well, so, they, so they don't really they need translators, need but leaving the European Union is a good idea because we won't have we to pay have the translators we the don't language. need anymore. If you're, if you're working over here and paying taxes, surely you've got some sort of grasp on the language, haven't you? Well, that's my so, point, Jack. 
Well, exactly. So, why, yes. so why why have we got to get translators in all the time then to sit next to our nurses? I'm not aware of that many European language translators working within the health service, but of we course, do. we have. But you know, I'm sure there are a few. But we should we put? Do. Given that this is your main reason for wanting to leave the European Union, you'll understand really? why. No, I know. Which is why I and it's not a field of expertise for me. So you need to tell me how many there are now. I couldn't give you off the top of my head, but let's Well, is it in the I hundreds, see, the well, millions, say, the thousands? Uh, well, let's just say, let's just say I see up to, I don't know, let's say five an hour walking the door in one hospital. But they'll be the same, and they're all translating European languages, so are they? Different, from different languages. For example, no, which, which sort of languages? 80%, 80%. You go on, which sort of languages, Jack? A lot of, we've got a lot of Spanish people that come over here. Spanish translators in the NHS. Polish. Yeah. Okay, and that's why we should leave. No, it's just so we shouldn't be paying the money that we're paying. We're paying them yeah. probably close to double what we're paying our nurses. But they're probably I just English. Don't think it's right when we shouldn't have to use them. They're probably we English. Have to use them. They're probably English, who just speak a bit yeah. of Spanish. No, they're not. Well, it's, it's how not, do you like, know? It's, it's not. I'm just. I'm just saying the way it is. That's all it is. I just. I just don't feel. I feel that's a sector that shouldn't really need to be there. Yes. Yeah, so really. for you should be there, or if you need that service, you should have to pay for it yourself rather than having the NHS. And that is when we that's when we look back, we'll be sitting there in 15 years in a, in a time, and I and you will say to me, you see, Brexit was a brilliant idea. We've got fewer translators in the NHS. No, we've saved nearly a hundred pounds an hour per translator for however many people they translate per day times however many hospitals there are in the country um, can it, it, the, the money process goes on doesn't it the most popular languages that we currently pay translators for in the nhs are you might want to write this down mate in case you do phone anyone else on the program bengali gujarati lithuanian nepalese punjabi polish portuguese turkish and urdu Okay. Have a great day. That's, but that's not European Union, is it? No, Jack. <laughs> oh, crikey. It's coming up to 11 o'clock. You're listening to James O'Brien on LBC.